everybody. Nika's Market in New Haven has been providing its customers with the freshest gourmet food for years. Today they're here to show off some of the delicious dishes that use, or rather they use, in their signature sauces. Here from Nika's is Giuseppe and Giovanna Sabino. Welcome to the show, you two. Great to have you. Thank husband you. and wife team. <laughs> Good to be here. Thank well, you. we are excited. You have flooded our kitchen with wonderful food. Let's talk about what we're going to be making today. Today we're going to make a zucchini parmigiana. Okay. A lot of zucchini around, so we show people how to use it. Okay, sounds delicious. You want to get us started? We'll get going? Sure. Okay, All right, come on over here. That. We're going to dance around the that's kitchen. Make that. yourself that's at home in oh, here. Okay, by the, time you, by the time you slice the <laughs> I zucchini, you, all, I put the sauce in the First of all, all I had to slice okay. the zucchini. You, so let me ask you something. You've got the hands off. This has zucchini now. And we when we start, though, when you get ready to start this dish, the first thing first, so Giovanna, is are we heating up a, in a pan olive oil? Is that what we want to do first? First, yeah. so we're going to slide the zucchini, sprinkle a little bit of salt, and let it stay for 20 minutes, half an hour. So the zucchini retains a lot of water, so you oh. want the water to drain. To drain. Really? Zucchini then, retains a lot of water? A lot of water. Okay. Then we rinse it with the cold water, put them on a paper towel, dry them up, and then we start. Okay, perfect. So that's what we're doing first. So we've chopped our zucchini. Now what's the next move? The next move, you put salt in yeah, it. Yeah, you sprinkle you a this, little salt. This is already sliced. And we were talking earlier about you're yeah. saying to taste. Everything should be kind of to taste what you like, right? Right, right. Everything is like, a, you know, like you wanted to taste. Okay. And if you taste it this good to you, it would taste good to everybody. Okay, because it's been made with love. Yeah. Yes, all right. right. You put a all right. Bit of that. And tell us about Nika's Market, you two, because it really is family owned, family operated. It has got that down home earthy feel to it well nika's market we are all family okay and we care about what we give it to the people actually we are neighborhood store and we come from a little place back in italy that uh, uh, we will you know we learn how to do things the, the proper way the pr i like that the proper way you are getting it right and tight here on, on, on connecticut style well, should i start by beating up some eggs here yeah, beat yeah some. Now, how many do i want to do about five eggs so five, five eggs enough. okay Okay, there we go. Oh, Look at there. Could, you could come oh, back. Yeah. You could, I can, oh, I can a little I, short order cook I, here. I oh, right. two ladies here. Oh, you better watch it. <laughs> in the meantime, you warm up at the... I got two ladies. I always tell my wife that I could have married the five of hers. Oh, you think so? <laughs> yeah. Imagine, I bet you can I handle that, can you? Okay. Huh? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now what am I going to do? I'm going to beat it up you here a little bit. This is we a put a pinch of salt. Okay. You want to season the You want to season the egg. Oh, season it first. Okay, pinch of salt. A little more. Okay, a little bit more. And then what else? Pepper. Pinch of pepper. Okay. A little bit of cheese. Parmigiano Romano mix. I love cheese. Yeah, you want now, now you can go. Now we're going to beat it. <laughs> okay. Beat it up and make sure you don't kill them. Oh. Just beat it. Just beat it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like <laughs> Giuseppe, said, would you, you hire me to hang out in the kitchen yeah, at Nikki's oh, Market? I tell you, you could come every single morning and <laughs> oh. work, at the, work at the 8, 9 o'clock at night. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, now tell us a little bit about these beautiful sauces you bought because, again, you were voted best in Connecticut for your sauces. Is that right? Right. right. I mean, it really is special because these sauces are just all of you and all of your culture and tradition. You see, you have to be picky on everything you do. Okay. And, and we are picky. We really, really care about what we do. And our sauces are made with the best ingredients. And also, there's a little secret about that. Oh, tell us. Yeah, you're not just to put tomatoes and oil and garlic and blah, 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 and just boom, bang it in there, and you make a good sauce. No, you don't want to bang it in there. No, you have to put a little, a little bit of secret, which is I cannot reveal on the show. But you can I could tell, tell me. You, you can I could tell, tell me. you some. Tell me. You know, <laughs> you, you, you have to cook the tomatoes, the garlic, and whatever else ingredients are in the sauce. Okay. The right time at the right moment for the right for the length of time you. So there really that. is a science to it. Uh, exactly, exactly. Just like when you make a wine, oh, the sauce it's the same thing. The same you, thing. You you have to cook the garlic the right away. If you overcook them, they 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 burn. Really? If you undercook them, they don't give you, you the flavor. You don't want to burn up the garlic. You don't want to you know. The garlic. Well, you've evidently done a good job because you were voted best. The sauce is fantastic. Let's get moving with the other stuff here now. Okay. Am I okay. taking the zucchini and doing what? Okay, you're we also want to. You want to season a little bit of them. And this is flour? Flour. flour. Okay, this so flour. Okay. Yeah. Look, she's a natural at this. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of comical to just see her. She's just <laughs> doing it really quickly. <laughs> I am not that good. I tell you, Giovanna, I'm not that good. You're not that good? No, no I'm not. I'm pretty sure you're very good. Now, what okay. you do. Okay. Now, you grab one of the zucchini. Okay, one of the zucchinis. Okay. Slice it. It's already been, been oh. drained out of the water. Okay. First, yeah. it goes, first, it goes into the flour. Flour. Right. Down like okay. that. Okay. Then it goes into the into the egg. Okay. They turn into the egg. Okay. That's it. 
and then oh. you put it in a frying pan. I love it. Okay, nice. And this is through. with olive oil. How hot do we want that, it? That's extra you want virgin a, olive oil. You want it very hot? You know, one that's okay to absorb a lot of oil. Okay. Okay. So we do want it really warm, and that is yeah. extra virgin olive well, oil, you said. Extra virgin olive oil. Okay. That actually, the oil right now is a little bit cold. Okay. Uh, it should have been a little hotter. A little bit hotter, but, but that's time, okay. You know, that's okay. We already have a sun prepare already prepared. Because you were just because that much of a multitasker. Much, I love it. Right. So we can start. The sauce is already warm. And, and you sell the, this sauce at your market. Yes, so I folks said. at home, if they want to taste it, they can just come right to Nika's and pick it up. Right to Nika's and pick it up. Okay, so now tell us what we would be doing. Because we would actually wait for this to cook on both sides. Is that right, Giovanna? Right, right. And it would actually come out looking like this, folks, so we can get a shot that's of that. The, that's the way it looks when okay. it's done. Okay. Then we're going to prepare. It in here. With the sauce. Okay. And now walk me through what I'm doing okay. here. Go ahead. You so now we're going to take. You okay. put a little bit of sauce Oh, the little bit of the we're sauce? We're going to put a little bit of sauce. Yes, okay, go for fine. it, Giovanna. A little group work here. You're me. <laughs> okay. I am helping you. I'm all about help because I'm all about eating. Okay? Okay. I'm and then just bring a little bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese. A little cheese, yes. Okay. Don't forget the cheese. I love the cheese. And me cheese too, man. A cheese is the cheese. 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 The so it's almost like a lasagna. You're going to layer it. Almost like a lasagna. You're layering it. You're okay. layering it. You just, it's just a plain zucchini, but you're laying it just like you would layer a lasagna. Okay. Lasagna strips. All right. Then and now I like to put the prosciutto cotta in between. It's going to give you a lot of good flavor. A lot of good. And this is yeah. no just regular prosciutto. I mean, this is the finest of the finest prosciutto. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is not salted prosciutto like the dry cured salted prosciutto. Right. This is this called il cotto. Okay. Which is, is a prosciutto. And is this something you serve prosciutto. at your place? Yes, yes, we do that. Now, just for folks at home, you brought an extra little treat. You also brought what other dishes with you to give folks at home an idea of what else you have oh, there? Oh, we brought a homemade gnocchi, a la napoletana style. No, napoletana style. In the little crack crackets, clay crackets. Oh, my goodness, stop it. There's a, there's a person uh, size. And they stay hot there for quite a while. Okay, I keep it going with the sauce. And you but also brought one other thing with you, and that is going to be the shrimps and scallops of la vodka, just to give us an idea, correct? Right. Just to give you an idea, probably the next time we come on the show, we show you how to make okay. them. I love it. Mozzarella. Let's, I'm going to get that out of the oven, and you continue to walk us through because okay. you layered it with sauce. Right. You're putting the cheese, and then what else? And the, and you put got the prosciutto cotto, the sauce, the mozzarella, a little bit of cheese, parmigiano and romano. Okay. And you All keep right. it going. Okay, and then what are we going to do with okay. that? Well, then we're going to bake then, those. And how high do you bake it at again? 375 or like 20 minutes. And this is what that looks like. This is really hot. Let me put this that here. Really, really hot. And we're not done. Hey, folks, if you want to try any of this wonderful food and you want any more information on Nika's, the information is going to be on the screen. Go and check them out. This okay. is wonderful stuff. You have this got is, to get a yeah. shot of this. What is this here? This is a nookie. No, this is, a, no, this no, no, is scallops this and shrimp. But scallops and shrimp a la vaca. Okay, they're putting me to work already. I think I found a job. In the meantime, oh, man, I tell you, I, I'm going to have I, Sonia on standby to taste some of this with me. Oh, my God. Big Daddy is putting down the jib cam. Don't go anywhere. We've got more Connecticut style coming your way in just a